What is going on guys? Welcome back to new tutorial series on RecyclerView. In this mini course, I will be showing you all you need to know on RecyclerView. And to show you exactly what I mean, we will create one cart view that will be passed to the Recycler Adapter class to be recycled for all the items that we have. And if you click at any item in the list, as you can see, you have clicked on Belgium. So our Recycler View could actually handle a click. And not just that, if you want to find an item in the list, you can click on this search view. And then you can search for a country, for example, India. And if you click on India, you clicked on India. And if you want to cancel everything out, you can click this canceled button and then you go back to the original state. If you want to delete an item in the list, you can swipe to the left and delete an item. And if you want to bring back what you have deleted, you can just click on undo. And if you want to update an item in the list, you can swipe it to the right. As you can see, a pop-up dialog is appeared with the name of the item. And if you change the name of the item, and click on update as you can see the item has been changed if you want to go back to the previous state you can swipe to down to refresh the entire list and lastly if you press enough on the card view you can actually change the position of the item so if this is what you are looking for let's start our journey right now all right guys in this video we will only create one car view and then we will build a recycler adapter class so that we pass our car view to the recycler adapter class to keep recycling them and then we will populate our recycler view with a list of countries so let's do that all right guys so once you have created your new project you need to add your dependencies for the recycler view so go to gradle script folder and then click on build gradle with the module extension and then go down to dependencies section and then add your dependencies here so once you have your dependencies the first one is for the car view and the second one is for the recycler view and do not forget to click on sync now so once you have synchronized your app, close this and then close this as well. And then go to activity main.xml. Here you need to add your recycler view widget. So click on split so that you write your code here. So by default, you have a text view here. You can change this to recycler view widget, and then you can delete this hello world and then add an ID to it. And the ID would be recycler view and then change the width to match parent and the height to match parent as well. So once you have done that, I would like to change the default color for our layout. Go to resources and then to values and then click on style.xml and then change this color to black. I will change everything to black. So now you need to create a new layout for our card view. Go to layout folder, right click on that, then new, and then click on layout resource file and name your layout file. So card layout. And then you need to change this to card view and then click on OK. And for the width attribute, you have match parent. And then for your height, you have wrap content and the ID would be card view. And then you need to have a margin so the margin would be 5 dp and then you need to give a background color so car background color and the color would be this i'm picking orange but you can have whatever color you want and then i want the corner of the card would be a bit round so card radius 5 dp and content padding of 5 dp as well so once you have this now we need to have our constraint layout so constraint layout and for the width would be match parent and then wrap content for the height. And do not forget to give padding of 10 dp and close this. And inside your constraint layout, you need to have few widgets. So we will have an image with a text view. And for the image, we will have an icon. So go to drawable, right click on that, then new, click on vector asset. And in here, you can change your icon. So let's search for location and let's pick this location on and you can change the color to white and then you can change this as well so icon location and click on next and finish and now we need to create an image view so image view and for the width would be 30 dp and for the height would be 30 dp as well and let's give an id to the image so the id would be item image and for the resource would be add drawable icon location and once you have done that, you need to add some constraint. So constraint top to the top of parent and constraint left to the left of parent. And once you have done that, just close your tag and then let's have a text view next to it. So text view and for the text view, we'll have a width of let's say 236 dp and for the height would be 30 dp and let's give it an ID and the ID would be item title and the text size would be 
20 SP and let's have a text color and we will give it white. And once you have done that, you need to constrain it. So constrain top to the top of parent and then constrain left to the right of the ID of item image. And now we have one card view. And to keep recycling this card view, we need to create a recycler adapter class. So let's do that. Right click on this and then new and then Kotlin file class. And you can name your class. So we will name it recycler adapter. And then the type is class. So click and enter. All right. So our class will accept one parameter. And the parameter would be um, country list. And the type of it is mutable list. And it would be a string so that we can create create an object of this class in our main activity and pass a list of countries so that it populates the countries in our recycler view. And then you need to extend a recycler view class and then go with adapter and the type would be recycler adapter and then go with view holder and you will have an error because we do not have a view holder yet so we need to create a view holder in a class in this class. So let's have an inner class of view holder and the view holder will accept item view with the type of view. And then this would extend recycler view and then view holder. And the view holder will accept item view. And we have an error here because it should be a V capital. And then we have an error here because we need to implement our members. And our members are on create view holder, get item count on byte view holder. We need them. So import these. And I would like to bring this down to the bottom because this is how it makes sense to me. And in our view holder in a class, we need to have few variables for our car view items. So let's do that. Late bar and then we will call it item image and the type of this would be image view and then we will have a late init bar for item title and the type of this would be text view and to initialize this we need an init and in our init we need to initialize these two variables so item image and this would equal to the item view that we have so this is the view that we have and then we need to find view by id and the id would be resources id and then we have item image and this is the id that we had in our cart view as you can see this is it image and we need to do the same for item title and then equal to item view and then find view by id then resources then id item title so actually once you have initialized these two variables you do not need a late in it so we can just remove it and this is it for the initialization. And now we need to set on click listener on this so that if the user clicks on any of the card view, we could actually identify which card has been clicked. So item view and then set on click listener to this. And then you need to identify the position of the item that has been clicked. So val position and the type of this variable is integer. And you can get the position by calling adapter position. So once you have the position of the item that has been clicked, it's really easy to retrieve the value from the array that has been passed to this class. So let's create a variable for our list up here. So private var, and then we will call it countries. And the type of this is mutable list, and definitely it's a string, and we can immediately assign country list to it. So the one that you have passed here. And once you have your mutable list and you have the position of the item that has been clicked, you can immediately retrieve the value from this list. So let's have a, actually a toast with a make text and then item view. And then we can have a context. And for the message, you click on and then dollar sign and open these two curly braces and then call the country's um, array that you have and then pass the position to it just like that. And do not forget to specify the length. So toast dot length long and then show the message. And that's it for our inner class. Now we have a list of items that has been passed to this class and stored in countries variable. And to tell the recycler view class how many card views to recycle, we need to go to get item count function here and remove this and then just return countries dot size. And this would return the size of the items that we have so that we recycle that many card views for our items and now we need to inflate our car view so that we pass it to view holder so val v and that equal to layout inflator and then from and then context is parent dot context and then inflate it 
and go to resources layout dot card layout and then pass pattern to it and false to attach to the root and once you have your object and then you need to pass it to view holder so view holder like that and pass the view to it and the only thing that is left in this class we need to bind our view so we need to bind our text to our card view so remove this and to access our card layout and get the ID of the item title, we need to get a holder object and then item title and then text and equal that to countries. And then the position is position basically because we have a position for each item. All right, guys, so this is it for the recycler adapter. Now you need to go to your main activity.kotlin. Here you need to initialize and bring everything together and pass a list of items to our recycler adapter. And to do that, you need to create a few objects and variables so let's do that private late var and the name of our object is recycler view and the type of this object is recycler view and now we need to create an object of recycler adapter class as well so let's do that private late init var and then recycler adapter and the type of this is recycler adapter as well and now we need to create two array lists one for our country list so that we store all the lists that we have and one for display list so that we can play and filter and do everything that we need so private var and you will call this country list and this would equal to mutable list of and the type of this is string and we need to do the same for our display list so private var and then and then display list and this would equal to mutable list of string as well and to initialize everything you need to go to on create method and in on create method we need to populate our country list with country names so let's do that and to add item we just call add function to country list i just copy paste all that so that I will not keep type all these and to find these country names you just search online and go down to the bottom of on create method and now we need to call on display list and then we need to add whatever we have in country list and put it in display list so that we can have a duplicate value of the list and we can play whatever we want on this and keep this as an original version so that we can play with the display list. So when you swipe and delete an item, we will delete the item in the display list. And if you swipe down to refresh your item, we will get our original item from country list and initialize it back to the display list. And I will show you the detail later on. And now we need to call our recycler view and then find view by ID and then resources.id and then recycler view. So once you have got this ID from activity main.xml recycler view as you can see and now we need to initialize our recycler adapter class and that would equal to recycler adapter class and this would accept one mutable list which is display list so once we have created an object and we pass our display list now we need to put everything together so recycler view dot adapter and that would equal to recycler adapter that we have and I believe this is it. So to run our app to see what we have so far, just click on run. As you can see, we do not have anything. So click on run to see what error that we have. Uh, no layout manager attached. So you need to go to activity.main and here we do not have a layout manager. And to add our layout manager, go there and then app and then layout manager. And this would be a linear layout manager. I believe this is it. So let's run our app one more time. All right, guys, this is it. It works perfectly. As you can see, we have all the country names that we have passed to the, our recycler adapter. And if you click at any of these, you will get a notification. You click on Brazil. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how to search for a specific item in this list and filter out our card views based on what we type in the search view. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn on how to build mobile applications, web development and programming tutorials in general, please consider subscribing and click on the bell notification so that you do not miss on anything. And see you guys in the next video. Happy coding.